Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 1996 Dodge 1500. It's got 118,000 miles on it. It's obviously been heavily modified. It's a clean title, clean Carfax car. Um, it's a customer of ours. It was featured in Peterson's Off-Road Magazine in, uh, I think it was February of 2018, uh, where they um, documented a trip, a uh, Jeep trip that he took um, with a bunch of Jeep guys. Um, down to Moab, so and uh, the Jeep guys uh, let him go in there. So, as be part of, I think it was a jamboree. So, anyways, um, my goal really, there's too much on this thing to talk about, and I'll be honest, I, I'm it's way over my head as far as um, mechanical stuff. I don't, um, I mean, I know there's been a ton of money spent on it, but really, what I want to do is, and all the details of the build itself are on our website, uh, but what I really want to do is show you the cosmetic condition. So. 20-inch beadlocks, uh, those are red label, uh, what are they, 42s, I think. Um, it was just painted, they painted it. The paint, if you get up close, is, is I mean, it's, I'd say it's average, maybe even below average for a car, but for an off-road vehicle and design what it's used to do, it's gonna be, I think, way above average. Um, the guy spent a ton of money on this thing. It's super capable, it handled Moab with no problems. And you can see, uh, also very little signs of wear and tear. There's not a dent or a ding on it. A lot of this stuff has been, so the, the bed cage is, uh, was custom fabricated. Um, a bunch of this stuff is, was custom fabricated. Um, it's super clean, no rust anywhere on this. I and mean, it was taken completely apart. Um, so you can see, so you've got a swing arm here. I'm not gonna do it because it's too hard with the camera, but these atta these uh, just pull out and then the swings open. And in the back, uh, you've got a uh, high lift jack and then you also have two, uh, we have extra drive line. You've got um, outdoor speakers. It's been Rhino lined. So you can, so as an example of the custom fabs are the, uh, you can see the uh, skid plates there on the back of the brakes or on the underneath carriage of the brakes. So, and you can see how clean this thing is still, even after going to Moab. Um, it's got hydraulic steering on it. I mean, it's just, it's just a beast of a, you can see, you see the Curry Anti Rock uh, sway bars. I mean, all kinds of stuff. You've got uh, Fox shocks, coilovers uh, up in the front. Uh, the beadlocks are in great shape. The spare has got a little wear on it. Um, but you know, if you look underneath this thing, well, it's going to be hard to see on the camera, so that's a, I can't do that. But I, it's well documented, um, picture-wise, and um, you can see the exterior for the fact he just sat it down in Moab and did a bunch of crawling around, and the body is literally perfect. It's got a supercharged 5.9 liter Magnum V8 in it. I think it produces 550 horsepower. You can see. So uh, ARB intensity lights, uh, a rigid light bar. You've got a worn uh, nine and a half XP winch with synthetic line and remote in the uh, the cab. You've got you can see it's got a, it got xenon lights, has xenon lights. Uh, the hood is clean. I mean it's just it. <laughs> so you can see the undercarriage. I mean literally. Hardly any signs of wear and tear. So I have four rigs of his currently and we're selling, I've sold one of them. We have three other ones listed. He likes to buy stuff and modify it. Like a lot of our customers, he's not as much into owning things as he is into kind of fixing and building them and then finding something else to do. So you can see the um, door panel, which is super clean. So is the carpet. So you've got Corbeau seats, you have uh, PRP harnesses. You've got an Arctic, uh, Smitty built Arctic fridge in there. You've got an Atlas transfer case, you know, obviously. <laughs> you can, I mean, if you know what you're looking at, it's an automatic transmission, so uh, that's, that is not the standard gear setup. Uh, so I'm going to start it up. And here it starts right up. Um, so you've got front and back lockers. These are all lights, so. Um, you have a massive stereo system with subs, dual subs in the front. Um, you can see the passenger side seat and the carpet. I mean, it's just all really clean. There's no cracks or damage on any of the dash anywhere. 
as, so you can see the wipers work. 118,000 miles. Uh, I'm not sure how relevant that is. I mean, hardly any of that gear. I mean, this, it doesn't have a piece of gear underneath it that's stock. So your gauge is here. Um, so mirrors, uh, power windows and locks, lights, um, front and rear locker, uh, your volume control for the stereo. I mean, the stereo is, uh, I'm not gonna get into it. It's obnoxiously loud. You also, you can, I don't know if you can see it here, but you've got a front, or you've got a top and a lower bevel here to uh, allow you to speaker control the two rear speakers in the back. Um, and then I'm gonna turn, I've got pictures of it, but um, I mean, you'll be able to hear. It sounds awesome. And then uh, he's, he's got undercarriage lights. So you can see, so for rock crawling, so you've got lights there and you've got a full set of lights underneath. So you can see the LED mounted there and then they're all underneath, which is nice. And there's a ton of money in this thing. It's super, super clean. Uh, the Smitty belt is strapped down, so it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna turn all those off. It's just super nice rig. Everything works, it drives nice. Um, it's, it, uh, I, don't, I don't know where you're gonna find anything else like it, super nice. Uh, as I mentioned, so we've got a copy of the Peterson's um, magazine uh, that did an article. Um, we've got the build sheet on our website, a lot of pictures. I think I've got almost 60 pictures on our website. Um, you know, if I can answer questions, I will. It's uh, all the equipment on it. There's a long list of stuff, way too much for me to go into uh, on a video. Uh, the goal here was more to show you the cosmetic condition. So if you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us. And we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.